back to my channel. Today, I'm excited to participate in a tag hosted by my friend Nikki. It's called the My Forever Home Tag. Nikki has two absolutely wonderful, informative, and classy channels here on YouTube. One is called At Home with Nikki, and the other is called At Work with Nikki. She covers home organization and home decor. If you haven't already seen her channels, you're really missing out. So I will put a link below for you to go and check it out. And make sure when you go check out her channel, you let her know that Sharon from Creative Glam sent you. Again, I'm excited to participate in this tag. I have three forever items I'm going to share with you today. This tag is about items in your home that you have always had and that you will always have because of sentiment of sentimental reasons that you have to these particular items. These are items in your home that have special meaning to you that you have always had and that you will forever keep. Get it? My forever home tag. I'm excited to get into this, so let's get started. This table right here is a forever piece that will always be in my home. I inherited this table from my mother who has since passed on. I love this table. I love the colors. I love the inlay of the wood. It is absolutely beautiful. When I look at this table, I think how she had it sitting next to their sofa and she had a blue candy dish that sat on this table and it was always full of ribbon candy. And I always grab myself a piece of ribbon candy. Now I put a decorative lamp and a seasonal floral arrangement on it. And when I walk by, I smile because I can still see that blue candy dish with the ribbon candy in it. And I think of my mother. This table I will always have. This is a forever item. And this forever item will one day be passed on to my children to continue to be a forever item in our family. And next, my forever item is my Sedona plaque. This Sedona plaque is another one of my forever, uh, my one of my forever items I will always have and I will never get rid of. It re reminds me of when we all got together and went to Sedona for vacation. The entire family, all my siblings, and we hadn't seen each other for a while. And we had such a wonderful time. My children got to see the Grand Canyon. It was just beautiful. It was just a beautiful trip. It was so, it was just full of love and excitement and happiness because we hadn't seen each other in a while. And uh, we were in a beautiful surroundings and it was just a trip to remember. It was a trip of a lifetime. And when I look at this plaque, I think about my family members and my, my, my siblings and my nieces and nephews and my children and my husband. And we had such a blast and we had a great time. We had a wonderful tour guide. It was awesome. I have to say it was, it was in the top three vacations I ever had in my entire life. Forever be an item in my home. It will always be. You know, my third and final forever piece is this painting. I got this painting when I was in college. It was the first piece of art I had ever purchased. And I still have it. I have carried it with me from state to state, from home to home. It is something that I will always keep and I will always cherish. Uh, again, it was the first large piece of art that I had ever purchased and I still have it today. I'm very proud and I like it quite a bit. I need to um, redo the frame. I know that. I know I need to uh, reframe it and get a more modern frame for it. I'm, I keep saying I'm going to do that. I just haven't taken the time to get that done. But this is a forever item in my home that I will always have. And this will certainly be passed on to my children because it's something that I'm quite proud of myself. I went to an art gallery and I actually purchased this art as a young adult. And I'm very proud and I'm very excited. And I still like it today. Like I said, the only thing that kind of dates it a little is the frame. I need to change that frame. But other than that, I just love it. It makes me smile. And when I'm sitting here in my office, this is a forever item in my office. So when I'm sitting at my desk and I look up and I see this painting, I remember my young Sharon <laughs> purchasing her first piece of art. This is a forever item in my home. And I just love it.
Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. I'm glad you enjoyed my video. The three forever items that I share with you today are absolutely priceless to me. And I hope to one day pass these items down to my children and hopefully they will care for these items as well as I have. Again, thanks for watching. Leave me a comment down below if you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Again, thanks for watching. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you next week. Bye.